Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about Azure functions and how to create the Azure functions using the Q trigger. If you are interested to this topic, please stay till the end of this video. I will promise that I will share a working example on how to create Azure function using the Q trigger. So let's get started. Let's see the Azure function step by step. First, what is Azure functions? Azure function is a serverless compute service that enable a user to run event trigger code without having to provision or manage infrastructure. When we are saying that it is a serverless or we do not need to create any kind of an infrastructure, it means that we do not need to spin up a virtual machine or container or anything related to the infrastructure. We simply write a piece of a code and deploy it to the Azure and Azure will take care of the rest of the infrastructure related things. Azure functions are also executed based on the certain trigger. So it means when you, whenever you are writing a code, that code get executed based on the certain trigger. You can see there are a lot of trigger is being mentioned which execute the Azure function. So for example, we have service bus queue trigger. It means whenever a new message is being added to the service bus queue, then the Azure function get triggered. If you are creating any Azure function which is using service bus queue trigger, so that function get automatically executed anytime when the new message is being posted to the service bus queue. Similarly, HTTP trigger, timer trigger, queue trigger, blob trigger, event grid trigger, event hub trigger, IoT trigger, service bus topic trigger, durable functions, Cosmos DB and SendGrid trigger. So there are a lot of triggers which you can use when you are creating an Azure function. In this demo, we are going to see how we can use the Q trigger and create the Azure function. So what we are building in this demo, we need to create an Azure function using the Q trigger, which basically reads the message from the queue whenever a new message is being arrived and pass it to the REST API. What do you guys think? I think we talk enough. Let's write some code to see this in action. For creating an Azure function, there are different options available. You can create an Azure function using the Azure portal itself. You can use the Visual Studio, Visual Code, or any other editor or code tools. For this demo, I'm going to use the Visual Studio to create the Azure functions. If I am using the Visual Studio, I need to make sure that Visual Studio 2019 or higher version is being installed on my machine and also ensure that the Azure development workload is also installed. Once the Visual Studio is installed, we need to make sure that latest Azure function tool is being installed. So I have all these prerequisites installed on my MacBook. So let's get started and we'll create the first Azure function using the Q trigger with Visual Studio. Create the Azure function using Visual Studio. I'm using Visual Studio 2022. Let's create a new project. And from the template, select the Azure function template. As we have seen in the introduction of this video, there are different type of trigger that you can use when you are creating the Azure function. For this demo, I'm using the Q trigger. Let's define the function name. As this is a function, so I'll start with name with func, but you can name it depending on your naming convention. Let's give the connection string name. Give con str name. And I need to give the queue name. To get the queue name, navigate to the portal.azure.com. Select your storage account. Navigate to the queues. Select the queue where your message gonna post it. continue 
click create as you see here visual studio created a project and a class which contains the boilerplate code for q trigger function type build the project to make sure that there's no build error in this So I need to define the connection string. So I'll copy this, navigate to the local setting. And let's define the connection string of a Azure queue storage. And I need to get the connection string. To get the connection string, navigate to the portal.azure.com, select your storage account, go to the access keys, and click on show keys copy this connection string go to your project and paste your connection string here in the local setting.json now we are all set before executing the function let's build the solution to make sure there's no build error i see everything is built successfully let's run the code my function is running and I start listening the queue so whenever i post a new message to the queue this function will get triggered so let's try this is the test message to check Azure function and at the same time it also triggered this Azure function and read the message that I just posted to my queue as you see here anytime when the new message is being pushed to the queue this will trigger my Azure function so let's try to add some more messages and see how does it work if you see when the new message is being added this will trigger my Azure function and pass the message body to the function now when the function executed successfully it will remove the message from the queue let's try to change the message again and add new message so when the new message will get added it will again call the azure function and pass the message body now one thing you have observed here when the message is being read it get deleted from the queue so there is no message here upon the successful read but let's take a scenario where we are processing the message that we got from the queue during the processing if there is any exception occurred what happen the azure function will push back that message to the queue again and try to reattempt or read that message until the threshold is being reached once the threshold is being reached it will create a poison queue and push that message to that poison queue let's see how does it work so to demonstrate that i have explicitly thrown that exception while reading the message from the queue so my function is up and running let's add a message test error message so if you see here let's try to read but there's an exception occurred so it try to keep pushing back that message to the queue until the certain threshold is being reached once that threshold is being reached it moved the message to the poison queue so now if i go back 
and refresh i can see a new queue has been created with the suffix of dash poison see where we are so far we have created a new azure function which read the message from the azure queue storage now the next part of this demo is to call the rest api through our azure function so whenever the new message get posted to the azure queue storage our azure function will read that message and pass it to the rest api i am going to use one of my testing application so basically this testing application has a post method which accepts the weather forecast model in the request body and i have to create a logic to save the data into the cosmos db but that's not for this video so i'm going to cover in the next video how to save the data into the cosmos db but for now i'm just calling this post method from our azure function and pass the message of type weather forecast let's jump into the azure function and then we can write the logic to call the rest api let's write the code first and then i'll walk you through the step by step i have finished writing the logic to call the rest api from my azure function now here you have seen what i have done i have created a model of weather forecast because my rest api is accepting the weather forecast as a request body so what i'm going to do when i'm passing a message to my azure queue storage i'm passing the message of type weather forecast so here if you see in my function i have deserialized the message body which i am getting it from my azure queue storage and then i have created an http client which basically call the rest api that i have created so if you see this is the domain url of my rest api and this is the post method that we are going to execute and when i am sending the message to the queue this is the json that i'm going to post to my azure queue storage so let's try and test it out let me put some debugger here and i have a debugger here so what i'm going to do i will pass this json to my azure queue storage this json will be read by my azure function and my queue item would be the message body and this http client object will call my rest api and pass that weather forecast object as a body so let's try and test it so i'll first go to my storage account navigate to my storage go to my queue click add message here i will let's update the message to say 100 degree and this is just message once i click ok it will trigger my azure function so as you see my azure function is being called and this is the summary text that i have added when i'm adding a message to my queue so i can see the updates properly coming to my azure function and now this http client will take that message and pass it to the rest api so here is my rest api is also get called and if you see here has the summary this is the test message which i have initially posted to my azure function and my azure function is passed that as a request body when calling the rest api so i can see the updated request body has been successfully passed to my rest api from my azure function once the message is being read successfully when i refresh it will also remove from the queue i promise in the starting of this video i will show you the working example of how to create the azure function and how to call the rest api from the azure function so we have achieved what we are trying to build here in this demo hope you like it and it help you to understand how easily you can create the azure function with q trigger if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wanted to know about how to send the message to the azure queue or about the background service i have added the link in the description of this video please check it out thank you see you in the next video